Hello everybody, uh, my name is Vonnie, welcome to another OBS tutorial. Um, before I get started, a big, big thank you to everybody who's subscribed um, so far. We are approaching 4,000 subscribers, which is insane. Uh, the channel has been on a quite steady increase um, over the past year, and it's been amazing to watch and see my other tutorial videos do really well. You guys like them, so I'm going to keep making them. So I haven't uploaded anything in a while. Uh, we've just moved into a new house, and it w has been hectic for the past like six months, but I'm ready to get back into it again. But yeah, just a big, big thank you before I start off the video. If you like my content, leave a comment, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button as well. It really helps out the channel. Without any further ado, grab a drink and let's get started on this tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up OBS Studio quickly and easily, getting yourself set up for live streaming. Just before we begin, a quick disclaimer, you're going to need a half decent PC to live stream and game at the same time. There's plenty of videos out there to look for, you know, budget PCs or even good gaming PCs if you've got a bit of uh, money to spend on one. Also, you're going to need a, a decent internet connection for you to be able to, you know, upload and live stream your footage. Again, there's other videos and other information out there for the minimum requirements you probably need for an internet connection for a decent you know streaming setup I'm not going to go into depth about those things I'm just going to show you how to get yourself set up in OBS studio get yourself up and running as quick as possible so first of all we're going to need to download OBS studio so go to obsproject.com link down in the description click Windows or whatever operating system you use. I guess you can kind of follow along if it's, you know, Mac OS or, you know, Linux. We're going to save. So yeah, go to wherever you downloaded the file. I'm going to hit install. I right click and run as admin. That's just me. Click next. Click next. Install. And click launch OBS Studio 26.1.1. As soon as you install OBS, you'll get this auto configuration wizard that will pop up. Now, this makes everything so much easier. Now, before we get started, make sure you are, are on, uh, you know, 26.1.1. Make sure you're on the latest update. If you've got an old install, get rid of it. Download the new one from the OBS website. When you Once you've installed the software, you'll see this auto configuration wizard come up. Now, this is a fantastic tool for any newcomers to literally get yourself optimized and set up ready for live streaming. So I'm going to go through the process with you to make it even easier so uh, this auto configuration wizard want to optimize for streaming and recording is secondary keep that absolutely checked and go to next um, so your base resolution wants to be 1920 by 1080 if you have a 19 by 1080 screen some some of you may have a 720p screen um, so click to use that if you want but use current normally it will detect that hopefully and your FPS you want to leave either 60 or 30 but prefer 60 when possible click next Right, this is another great thing uh, OBS added where you can actually connect your account now. You used to have to find your stream key, which can be a little bit confusing. If you want to use a stream key, go ahead and do that. But honestly, for this tutorial, to make it easy and quick, I'm going to assume you have a Twitch account. We're going to connect the account. Also, if you want to connect other accounts, it kind of, you know, like YouTube, Facebook, it's kind of the same thing. Just make sure you have your account details ready to log in. So I'm going to go ahead and use this for Twitch. Click connect account, recommended. Uh, type in my username, which is Vorni, my password. Log in. Uh, so it's asking for my authenticator. Pro tip, always get an authenticator for any of your devices and enter my code. I'm going to remember this computer for 30 days. Make sure you tick that. It's annoying when you have to keep logging in. So you'll next come to this screen, service switch. Yep. So I would leave prefer hardware coding encoding ticked for now for beginners. If you don't know what you're doing or you're a bit of a beginner, leave this ticked. If you want to know what it's all about, just hover over it and it will explain to you. Leave that ticked, I would recommend. And absolutely leave the second one ticked because it's going to run through your bitrate for your own you know broadband connection settings and your computer also so i'm going to leave those both ticked click next and it's going to do its thing it's going to run through the test it's running through all these settings testing out my bandwidth right so that's the final results yours may vary uh video bitrate is a good number to look at here six thousand is is a good bit rate to be honest um i could probably push a bit more for this pc but any anywhere above 5000 is a great bit rate to start at uh using my hardware nvenc so that just means it's using my i believe it's using my graphics card rather than my cpu to uh to run the stream i'm going to go ahead and click apply these settings yeah because this is what it recommends 
beautiful click apply as soon as you click apply these boxes will pop up for your twitch stream so what i'll do is accept just both those get rid of those and also i drag these what i would do is drag these boxes you can see they snap either at the top i like to put them left and right of the stream straight away so what i'll do is i'll extend the boxes so these are your twitch panels your live panels so you can change your title your stream you go live notification on your category that you're currently running on and you can do everything within obs now which is fantastic also you have your stream chat on the right hand side to so have this window on another monitor to just you know monitor everything that your chat saying your stream title is if you want to quickly change it alt tab out the game quick change it everything is in one place now in obs which is just mwah. Perfecto. So first things first, we're gonna set up some audio devices. So let's go ahead and click settings over here on the right hand side. Let's go to audio. And we're gonna to go to the first thing down here, which is desktop audio and global audio devices. We're gonna go down, I'm gonna select my speakers, which is just the green port in the back, which I use for my speakers. This is gonna be any sound that's coming through your desktop audio, essentially. Games, your default applications, etc. And you wanna go down to microphone and select whichever microphone you're using. I'm using Lion 2 MGXU. That's my Yamaha MGXU mixer. Yours might vary. Yours might be a USB microphone. Just find it in that drop down list. I'm assuming you have general knowledge of setting that up with your computer already. So you, you go down to this second, well, this first mic slash auxiliary audio, set it to that and we click apply and then click OK. So now down here you will have your desktop audio and microphone audio. So as you can see the microphone audio is bouncing up and down. If you want an in-depth tutorial on how to do uh, audio settings I have a video on that too which I will link down in the description below and also up here. Go check that out if you want an in-depth tutorial on how to set up a, a decent microphone quality. But for now this is just basic audio. You can see this is bouncing up and down. We're getting an audio feed from my microphone which is great. We're not getting any desktop audio yet because we are not running any games etc so another pro tip I like to do is I like to right click any of these is and uh, just go to rename and I'm gonna rename mine to game sounds and also the microphone I'm gonna rename to uh, just mic you can rename these to whatever you want just a little tip there just to make things a little bit more organized so once we've got the audio set up, we're gonna go ahead and add a camera. Now, if you don't have a camera, just skip to the next part, which is the game setup. But if you do have a camera, let's go ahead and set that up. So you've got scenes on here on the left, you've got sources on the right. For today's tutorial, we're gonna ignore scenes. We're just gonna have one scene, which is gonna be very basic for a live stream setup. And we're gonna to go to sources. In the sources box, we're gonna click plus video capture device. I'm gonna call this Sony uh, A5100, click OK. And this window is gonna pop up. Now down here in resolution slash FPS type, I'm gonna leave mine on default. But for some USB cameras out there, for whatever reason, I know I've had Logitech's in the past, they sometimes come up small in this window and look pixelated and they're not set quite right on their default device. So just go ahead and click this drop down menu here, click custom, and then select the resolution you actually want. It's gonna be one of two resolutions. It's gonna be 90 by 1080 or, you know, 1280 by 720, depending on your camera. Just play about with those two settings, see which works best for you. But for me, I'm gonna leave mine on default because my camera is fine that way. Click okay, boom, and there we go. Now you'll see another audio device come up, which is my Sony camera. Now I don't use my audio for my camera, so I'm gonna go ahead and mute that, and I'm also going to hide it, so right click and hide. And I suggest you do that too with your Logitech webcams because you're not gonna to wanna to use that microphone because it's not very good. Unless that's the only microphone you got, then fair play to you. So now we have a video feed, you wanna be adding a game, right? So let's go ahead and add a game. First of all, boot up your game that you're gonna be playing. So go ahead and boot the game up, get it running in the menus or whatever, alt tab out, come back to here go in your sources press plus go to game capture I'm gonna call mine League of Legends call yours whatever you want whether it be Call of Duty etc 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 League of Legends you want to be dropping this menu down here mode capture specific window the next window you want to be selecting your actual game that you have running currently Mine is League of Legends, boom, it comes up. Now, you might have a problem with it not coming up in the list. It might not be as easy as that. There's one of two methods you can do to try and get this to work. One is alt tab in and out the game a few times and try find the window again with the steps I've just shown you. 
Another way which I've found to work quite well is actually putting your game in windowed mode. So it actually stays on your computer in a window so it allows it to detect it. To get it into window mode, uh, press Alt and Enter while you're in the game or go in the settings and try to see if it has a windows mode option in there. Hopefully one of those things will work to get it to show up in the windows drop down menu here. That's what I had to do for League of Legends, but once it's done, it's done. It should pick it up after that. So go ahead and click OK once you've found it and done those steps. Right, mine looks a little bit weird and janky because I have it in window mode just for this tutorial, so I'm going to keep it there. I'm just going to go ahead and just stretch it out a little bit. You can also stretch your box out just by clicking one of these corners, and you see it's highlighted in red here. So the way the sources work is that they're like layers. So our camera, we obviously can't see because it's hidden behind our game layer because it's underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and click my Sony camera and just push it up and over that layer so we can see our camera again. Now, what you want to do is I'm going to go ahead and lock the League of Legends one below down here. So it locks it into place and I can't move it. I don't really want to move it. So locking it in place is fine for me. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is is click the camera that I'm using, hover over one of these corners here, click and drag and move my camera around. You can actually click and drag and move the camera wherever you want now. And this is the feed that's going to be shown live to your audience when you click that start streaming button. Another pro tip is if you hold down alt and then click and drag one of the corners here, you will see you can crop the image, which is perfect. Sometimes you don't want your whole shot in. Sometimes you just want that in. Um, so you can crop that and you can get it placed wherever you want. I'm going to place my camera here because I think that's good for League. But you can crop the image, move it around wherever you want. And because you've locked the game, it's not going to affect. You can't actually click the game and move that around accidentally. So that's just a little tip there as well. So and this now is your live feed. And now I can play League of Legends. And all that's left for you to do now is click start streaming. And then what I suggest you do after you click start streaming is go to your Twitch channel and just make sure that you are actually live streaming. But with everything logged in, you should be ready to go at this point. Click start streaming. And there we go. I'm not going to get into like overlays or adding uh, Twitch notifications. This is just a real simple quick start setup guide for you to follow, for you to get yourself set up streaming and to crack on playing those games in your live streams. I hope you have found this tutorial helpful, guys. Again, thank you very much for all the subscribers, all the likes on the videos, all the like great, amazing comments. I'm going to be uh, pumping out more content like this and making more tutorial videos because I enjoy it. Remember to subscribe, like this video, uh, leave a comment on what tutorial you would like me to do next. And uh, I will see you in the next one. This is Vaughn signing out. Peace.